Hey all, Indy here, recording the very last RPG a day video for 2016. But before I get into that, I wanted to butcher all the names of the people, fine, fine people who have subbed to my channel during this month. So let's see how many I can get wrong. Uh, Sirko Rookman, Samwise 7 RPG, Mornblade Gaming, Palindrome Musing, Runeslinger, Wolf Den 808. And I believe most of you were um, actually subbed quite a while ago, and I already said thanks. Well, thanks again. Double thanks to uh, Non Le Quistor. I know that's French, and I know I messed that up. Complex Game Apologist Druden Fuzz and Venus Taras Six. Okay. Okay, today's question, and then the conversation start, I guess. Since this is my first year, I don't really know how that works. Um, today's question. Best advice that you've received on the RPG that is your your choice RPG? Um, okay, obviously, over the month, my choice RPG is, as a system, as a family, is Rollmaster. Um, I have mostly... GM to Rollmaster 2, though for the, for the past year I have been GMing um, the Rollmaster Unified Beta System. I think the best advice that I ever got for that, and there's been plenty of good advice, but the best advice I have received was when I was uh, discussing with one of my players. Um, the struggles of how to um, pace out everyone's advancement and reward role playing, and at the same time reward the hack and slashers. Basically, reward people for why, why they're there. Um, I probably didn't think of it that way at the time, but I was I was struggling with how to do that. Which system best uh, accomplished everything the most consistently and fairly? And he said to me, just throw away the experience system. How was I supposed to make that fair? You just do it like a book does. I mean, basically what you see when you read a fantasy book is that, or a science fiction book, is that the characters have leveled up. They've gained an experience, either right before some large fight or right after some large fight, or maybe both. So just capture that in your game. Um... And if people are sticklers for seeing numbers on the sheet, then just proportion it out according to how fast you think the story is progressing. If you think they did about a fourth of the story until the next time when you thought they would be leveled up, then give them the 2,500 experience points. That's about a quarter of the way. And then things will either slow down or speed up from there. And just give the level whenever you feel like it. And if they don't require the numbers, then you can just skip that entire process. You know, a whole enchilada, just gone. Leave experience numbers blank. And just tell them when they level. And that way you can do everyone at the same time as well. I thought that was really good advice. Um, being a bit more of a role player not dungeon crawler in my personal taste, but using Rollmaster 2, which was, you know, originally just some house rules adapted to um, Dungeons and Dragons. The experience system that they created for Rollmaster was very much like an old Dungeons and Dragons. There you got experience points for how much damage you dealt. You got experience points for how much damage you received. Um, for maneuvers you performed. If they resulted in some other action that generated experience, you got experience for destroying gems, not collecting. Um, you might have gotten experience for like praying to your gods or whatever if the setting had that. 
there's very little in there for advancing storyline for conquering goals it was all just kill and steal and sell and sacrifice and maybe use some skills other than your normal weapon bonus to get there um, and trying to adapt that constantly to fit our play style better was just getting tiring so he said just toss it and I loved it it worked great um, when I started this last campaign I said you know even from the very beginning I wasn't really using the, the actual Rollmaster 2 experience so I'm gonna try that and see how that goes and it wasn't long before I was already modifying things um, the spellcasters were just simply not getting any freaking experience. Um, and uh, and then when I started the Rollmaster Unified Beta, since I'm beta testing, I did exactly, I tried to do exactly as the rules said, though the rules were very vague. Um, but they did at least have a system that was built around uh, story goals and personal goals. And wow, I have gone way off topic. Well, this the whole thing's probably going to be three minutes anyways. So, dumping experience point systems by number and creating a house rule that just simply leveled people up as the story progressed. That was the best advice I'd gotten for my Rollmaster 2 uh, GMing days. Thanks to everyone who's been watching, and... Uh, I'll see you in your videos and hopefully in the comments down below. If you'd like to find out more about RPG A Day or RPG Brigade, this year's hosts, the links are down below. You can also go there to find other people's answers to these questions and share your own. Feel free to comment down below with any of your responses to these same questions or to post links to other people's content that you found also interesting.